a top ER doctor in Manhattan who treated coronavirus patients has died by suicide in an inexplicable but predictable tragedy when you really think about how little help we are giving our frontline workers. Dr. Lorna M. Breen, the medical doctor of the emergency department at New York Presbyterian Allen Hospital, which is a very big hospital, died in Charlottesville, Virginia, where she was staying with her family, her father said in an interview. Dr. Breen's father, Dr. Philip C. Breen, said she had described devastating scenes of the toll of the coronavirus, uh, of the toll coronavirus took on patients. She tried to do her job and it killed her, he said. So just a reminder for everyone out there, our doctors, our first responders, our nurses, we don't need glitzy messages from Sprint or Comcast that talk about how much they're appreciated over soft piano music and black and white imagery. They need help, tangible resources. So when the right wing is going out there and basically saying, oh yeah, but they have enough ventilators. They have enough resources. They have enough masks. They have enough, all of these things. It is false. It is wrong. And it's taking a mental toll, obviously, and a physical toll because she's dead now. On our, on our most important essential workers, she had con uh, contracted COVID-19 and why she was back home in Virginia was because she was recuperating away from the hospital. Dr. Breen, 49, did not have a history of mental illness, her father said, but he said that when he last spoke with her, she seemed detached and he could tell something was wrong. She had described to him an onslaught of patients who were dying before they could even be taken out of ambulances. She was truly in the trenches of the front line, he said. He added, make sure she's praised as a hero because she was. Nah. She's just a casualty just as much as anyone else who has died. It's, I can't even imagine the mental toll that um, is being thrust upon our healthcare workers and the frontline workers and everyone who has to, has to mentally absorb all of that death and as well put themselves at risk of contracting coronavirus and potentially you know, giving it to their loved ones or whatever. It, it must be such a burden and it's not discussed enough how immense that burden must be. And again, you know, like New York, it's ground zero once again uh, for for all of this death and destruction, it breaks my heart to see, obviously, my city going through this, but throughout the country. And, you know, I'll cover this later, but Tucker Carlson says there's no science for continuing stay-at-home orders. There's no science. How about just this anecdotal evidence for how bad it is, Tucker Carlson? Does that, does that work for you? Because an ER doctor just died by suicide because it was so intense and extreme and because there are so little resources for our healthcare workers. We don't need messages, corporate, sanitize. We're all in this together. Nah, tangible resources for our doctors and nurses. That's what is necessary right now.